Do 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 do. Ah, uh, you know what, guys? I'm getting kind of hungry, so I'm gonna break off on you know cruising interwebs, and I think it's time to make something well decent to eat. So, what today's thing on the menu? Uh, well, first and foremost, I have to escape the wrath of the kids' eyes and mark, make my way into the kitchen. So, let's head on in there. Do 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 do. Oh, look! A tripod set up and all the lights on. Uh, this looks suspiciously like it's going to be a cooking video. But first, we need to have, uh, well, case in point, some object to art. So, uh, let's see what we got to play with here. Uh, it's Thursday. We haven't gone shopping yet. Fridge is looking not exactly empty, but it's looking. Not exactly as topped off as it should be. Let's see what we got to play with here. We got uh, some grilled bird left over from the weekend. Let's chuck that on over there. That should be interesting. Do 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 do. Eggages. Yeah, that that's that's a worker. Let's throw some eggages on the pile. Do 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 do. Eggages. Um, definitely some butter. Bubble butter. Uh, you gotta have the butter. Uh, my brother from another mother will tell you butter is definitely the way to go. Ammo head seventy three. Oh, man, dude, dude, well, if it isn't bacon fat or butter, it's just, it's not cooking in his butt. So let's see what we got here. We got a uh, paste, uh, cat food. I'm not doing cat food. Uh, so, leftover takeout. Um, I ate all the fried rice. Hey, this is Kung Pao, okay, chicken Kung Pao. Uh, it's got potential. Let's throw that sucker on over there. Uh, let's add a little bit more inducement to it. Let's see what we got here. Um, ooh. Roasted veggies. I think we got ourselves a plan here. I'm gonna break off on this one and fire up the next segment and go from there. Mm, good time. All right, let's let's see. Okay, first off, it's it's an electric stove. It's a cold electric stove. That that's not gonna do a bit of good. So let's get this sucker cranking up. Uh, normally I tend to fry about uh, like five ish, like five ish or so. Um, you, you see what I'm doing here in a minute. I don't want to basically like burn the thing to a cinder or a cinder. Uh, or burn it asunder. <laughs> burn it asunder. <laughs> All right, I'm going to break off on this. But basically, we got everything heating up now. We'll go from there. I'll be doing this thing real time, bit at a time, and um, go on go on from here. Good times. All right, you guys know the old saying, you can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. So uh, let's bust up a few and go from there. I, I normally go with three, so we'll, we'll shoot with three and see what we get. So basically, I I'm being lazy here. Just watch this process. This is dead, dead simple. About the easiest thing on the planet to do this this way. Okay, so basically one eggage. Spewing egg goo everywhere, but that's all right. I'll clean up after I'm done. Don't want anybody walking into egg goo. Ugh. Ugh, two-ish. My sink is taking a beating. <laughs> oh, man. If you're not making a mess while cooking, you're not knowing the uh, the true joys and uh, nuances thereof. Okay, bust up yolks. My fingers are clean. I know where they've been. I licked them and everything. They're good. All right. Now I'm a lazy ass, okay? I don't want to sit there and take a blender or a beater or, you know, sit there and just start working the thing for 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes. However long it takes, it's, you know, that's just wasting time. So, you know, normally what I'll do is I'll get, like, one of these uh, Rubbermaid containers and I'll just snap the lid on it. Make sure it is sealed or you're going to make a heck of a wreck of things. Don't do that to yourself. Okay, so basically you got this booger all set up. How easy was that? I mean, literally, how easy was that, okay? Of course, you got to be careful when you open this booger back up. But look at this, folks. I mean, have you ever made scrambled eggs that easy? You could add stuff in there, shake it up again, bing, bang, boom. It's another one of those tricks I'm going to tell you guys about. That's it. I'm going to break off on this section and do some birdage and other stuff. Stand by. Yeah, I, I hang with a rough crowd, and I've been known to meet this one guy in the alleyway known as Rough Chop. Yeah, Rough Chop is definitely the guy you don't wish to mess with. He's just a total, well, he's a Santuco swinging maniac. Bad, bad guy. Uh, now, what did I do to the bird? I really didn't do anything to the bird whatsoever. All I did was a little bit of uh, olive oil on the grill... And uh, I don't even I didn't even dress this thing up because basically I was making it for the kids that were here, uh, you know, Mrs. Dudes, nieces and nephews, and of course all the little ones and what have you. You really don't want to go too crazy with the spice load on those guys. They just they really won't get it. Okay, so basically our bird is hacked up. 
Uh, veggies, veggies are already pretty much a rough chop. I'm not going to do anything further with that. These guys are grilled up and uh, they are good to go. I don't need to do anything further to them. So I'm going to break off in this section and get everything starting up, starting up in the pan just a bit and we'll go from there. Mmm, yummy stuff. Okay, this booger's been on for a little while. Let's, let's see if it's up to tap. It's just plain water. Got a sizzle. That's definitely the required sound effect. And I'm going to throw just a little bit in there. You know, I, I probably could use olive oil, but uh, I, I think it is this one. I'm just in deference. I'm just going to throw, throw a little butter in there. Just be done with it. So, a little butter. Get our butter melting. Nothing too terribly crazy. I just want to warm stuff up before I do anything further. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to warm up the bird and the peppers. And a little bit of onion in there. And, uh, a little butter is good. More butter is better. Mm. Especially when you talk about grilled chicken. There's, there's not a lot to it. I mean, it's pretty much just, it, it's pretty dry stuff, okay? It really needs a little bit more. Well, it just needs more, okay? Don't don't just throw stuff in a frying pan and think you're going to make something miraculous out of it. Because that's, that's, that's just not going to happen, dude. So let this go for, you know, a couple seconds, then I'll, I'll break off of this and I'll fire up the peppers. Okay, if you want to go a little wild and crazy here, you could probably speed the process up just a touch. Uh, oh, what do I do with that cover? Oh, here it is. Basically, you just wish to throw a little steam on it. So, a couple little drops of water. Let that steam for just a second. Like I said, I'm going to fire this back up with the uh, peppers on board. Oh, okay, I lied. Let's get a little action shot first. That's cool, man. All right, peppers. Pepper needs to do their thing. Oh, grilled peppers, man. That is, that is just one of those sublime things that if you've really never gotten into it, well, first and foremost, you got to get yourself a grill wok. It's just a stainless steel device that you put your goods in and uh, hit a little olive oil. That's all I did with this guy. I basically hit it with the olive oil out of the mister. And what you do is take this guy, you pop it up, you squirt it on it, you get a nice fine mist. And you don't use a lot of oil, but you do get all the good cooking benefits. So, oh man, that's that's really great stuff. And uh, it smells smells seriously kick-ass. I mean, at this point, if I wanted to take a slight juncture, what I could do is dump some of that salsa on here. Uh, you know, basically, I would have myself a nice side item for some rice. Oh man, and there is nothing better than having some grilled chicken and some grilled veggies hanging out. Because one, you can do it in the, you know the early part of the week, and you can do easy dinners for the rest of the week. Don't make yourself work harder than you have to. All right, so this guy's doing what he needs to do. Uh, again, I'm going to hit it with a little bit of water. I'm just going to steam up for a couple minutes, if that. So I'm going to break off on this section. We'll get the uh, other stuff in there. So let this warm up for just a bit. All right, so we've had this thing going for maybe about a minute or so. Nice little action shot. Wads and wads and wads of steam coming off this booger. So you know it's working up exactly how it needs to go. And um, it, this is one of those things that pretty much anybody who was a bachelor knows. Uh, Chinese food never goes bad because you eat it too fast. So what I'm doing here is I'm just throwing it in there for some additional flavor. and Because, well, I like it, okay? I'm going to eat it. All right, so yet again, we're basically just going to break stuff up. We're just really just warming it through. And, of course, oh, man, I wish you guys had smell in it. This, oh, this is smelling seriously good. And the other thing, too, is also grilled veggies. Mix it up with, uh, you know, Indian leftovers or Chinese food leftovers. It's, it's completely not even a problem. It'll do it no, no worries at all. So yet again, this is cold stuff going into warm stuff, so we basically need to cover it up, let it get warm through before we proceed any further. So I'm going to throw the cover on let this sucker crank up for just a bit. All right, now, um, this is one of these things. I mean, I've been doing this forever. I've been referring to this simply as just the leftover slash bachelor omelet. It's dead simple. You just got to make sure stuff is warm through. Is no great amount of rocket science. It's pretty much anything that you have in the fridge, you can pretty much add to this. And even if it goes together loosely with just the egg kind of barely sticking it together, it works. Ooh. Oh, man. I, I love me some water chestnuts. That that's... Oh. Now, cool enough, you basically can put this thing together in such a way. You can actually probably dump the sauce on there. It wouldn't be too terrible bad. Uh, I got other inducements to add to it as well. 
but right now I'm just going to keep it kind of simple because I'm just cooking it up because I'm, I'm just hungry, okay? I don't want to mess around too terribly much. Okay, so three eggs beaten up. Always pour from the edges into the center. Never pour right into the middle. First, you got to build an outside to work your way to the inside. If you just dump it square into the middle, it may or it may not simply make that transference of inner to outer, and uh, it, it just it won't work. Now, here's another trick you can do, is make sure your pan is warm enough. Give it a little shimmy shake, a little shimmy shake to use the uh, um, EVOO girl line. Give it a little shimmy shake, whatever. Basically, you just try to settle the eggs in there. And to use the Alton Brown line, walk away. Just, just walk away. Don't futz with it. Leave it alone. Uh, let it sit up for at least about a minute, possibly two. And, um, you know, just let it set up. Don't screw with it. Otherwise, you're going to bust it up and it's not going to look good. Don't do that. Just let it set. All right, I did put the cover on. I didn't squirt any more water on it because it's got plenty of moisture in there from all those veggies and everything else that's in there. You don't need to add additional water to it. If you keep adding water to it, after you put the eggs in, you got soup. Don't do that. Okay, so basically, me make sure my cover's not sticking too badly. And the eggs are starting to set up. But I want to make sure they do fully set up. So I'm not going to keep putting the cover back on there. And taking it off and putting it back on there and taking it off and fussing with it and all the rest of that happy horse stuff. But here's the dirty little secret about any egg dish. If you ever take eggs and you try to scramble up eggs or you try to make hard boiled or any kind of eggs in general and you overcook them on the water. As soon as you take them off, they haven't cooled off instantly. They continue to flip and cook. So you are overcooking your eggs. Do not overcook your eggs. Remember, there is a stopping point where it's reached ambient temperature. And of course, it's not cooking anymore. But if you go to full hard in the pan, when you take it out of the pan, you put it on the plate, it's sitting on the plate, and it's doing its cool down from, you know, amp from cooking temperature down to ambient temperature, it is continuing to cook for that whole period in time. And you have made, you've made pencil erasers. Don't do that to yourselves. Remember, when you're cooking eggs, to stop at about two-thirds or three-quarters done, that's it. You don't need to go any further because if you keep cooking and you keep cooking, well, the eggs are going to be cooking beyond that point where you even stopped, where you overcooked them. Don't do that to your eggs. Be nice to your eggs and your eggs are paying you back in dividends of, oh, scrumptious yumminess. Um, well, let me break off on this one. The heck is that? That doesn't belong on my stove. My stove is clean. Anywho, so uh, I'm going to pop the cover back on here again, and I'm probably going to turn the heat off and simply use the heat that's left over in the element and left over in the pan to finish cooking. So we're just going to do that right, right flipping now. And you go off. Cover back on, because it's not steaming too horribly, but I want to make sure that the cover is holding in whatever radiant heat is left in there to finish doing the cooking process. We'll go on from there. Good times. All right, all right, I was playing smart ass, so I just basically turned off the heat, popped the cover on this puppy, drug it off to the side, and just let it set. So, um, it was kind of starting to smell like it was caramelizing up a little bit, so, uh, uh, let's see what we get. I'm just simply going to do the old plate trick, so we basically pop a plate on there, and just flip them, flip them Z over. Well, that don't look too terrible bad, uh. Let me stick a fork in it and see what it does. So flip around here, flip around here, flip around here. Sometimes wish that the aisle was a little further away. Uh, it is a little toasted. It is a little toasted. So uh, well, let's see what we get. Maybe I have the pan up a little too high, but flavor-wise, let's see what we got. I mean, also, there's a lot of sugar when they you know, start making Chinese food. There's a lot of sugar involved there. So uh, maybe, I, maybe I didn't take that exactly into account, but... Um, there's something mo missing, most, most, most conspicuously, something is missing. Ah, yes, now we're, now we're improving for the proper table setting, so, uh, set this booger on down, get that puppy ready to go. Uh, you know what, something else is missing, too. Oh, where did I put that beggar at? Come on, oh, yeah, oh, chicken sauce, need the chicken sauce. Oh, you need the chicken sauce. Mm -mm. All right, so let's let's stick a fork in this puppy and see if it's not done or not. Do 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 do
gotta have chicken sauce. All right, so let's see what this puppy tastes like by itself. Let's see what it does. It possibly is a bit over. Um, I am playing with unfamiliar ingredients in a lot of instances because I, I don't know what they put in that Chinese food to save my butt. Um, flipping hot, I'll tell you that one. Uh, excuse me one second here. Uh, Father, thank you for all the good stuff you give us and may it's to serve you. In Jesus' name, amen. Excuse me. Mm. Oh. Mm. 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 No, that is good, man. It, it's definitely, it's got that nice fresh uh, pepper thing going on. Uh, it's definitely got the grilled chicken going on. It has definitely got the, in, the, the Chinese, not Indian, Chinese food going on. Um, a little bit of chicken sauce on there. Let's see what we get. <laughs> Let's give it a second here. <laughs> mm. Truthfully, it is a little overcooked, but uh, I commend it to you, man. Definitely, you guys, get some uh, leftovers. Dead simple to basically make just about anything in your refrigerator into an omelet. Pizza, maybe not so much, but Indian food, Chinese food, any kind of leftover like that. You basically just get it in the pan, throw some eggs on it, bam, bachelor on it. Good time. So I'm going to break up on this one, guys. Eat good. Keep it a tendering, and as always, always, oh, you know it, you love it. Mm. Cooking goodness. Oh. Uh, see you guys next time. Keep it a tendering, and as always, always, you got to love it. Mm. It is. Mm. Something's missing. Something is missing. Something is missing. Oh, something is missing. There we go. That's what it needs. All right, now we're done. See you guys.